we haven't really connected and then I we connected and we talked a little bit on the phone and one of the first things you asked me was how are you how are you doing and you know it was genuine it wasn't just kind of one of those yeah how you doing man you know it was genuine and I really appreciate that I'm glad yeah, you it, I'm glad you picked up on yeah, that it, I, it, I genuinely care it meant well it meant it meant something to me and I know that you cared and, and you kind of listened to what I had to say and I asked you how you were doing so it was it was a good exchange and so I thought you know what I definitely want to get down here at some point and and talk to you. Now, with the pandemic going on and stuff like that, health issues have taken kind of center stage. Everybody's, you know, concentrating on their immune system, and a lot of people are dealing with anxiety. Crazy, yeah, yeah. anxiety and, and things of that nature. So, tell me a little bit about the health benefits of tea. Well, teas are naturally healthy, and I'm probably not going to do myself any benefit. Do myself any justice by saying, you know, you can drink healthy, but unless you're living healthy, eating healthy, it's not going to be effective in drinking tea. It's not going to protect you from, you know, death. Right. And one of the things that we promote here at Zen's Tea House, and, and if you go to our website, you'll see it's got tons of information about holistic health care. And so, yeah, teas are known for helping. Um, be good for boosting the immune system and it's got high on amino acids and uh, high on antioxidants. Those are great, but a lot of people want to build up that vitamin C intake. And you know that you can take teas and herbs for that. But really what we promote is holistic health care. People taking a holistic approach to their health, which is not just food, it's lifestyle, it's mental health, emotional health. Meditation, is that meditation. What about? Yes. Praying, all that stuff. Right. I mean, spiritual health is one of it, uh, but I mean, you look at people, you look at healthcare and taking care of your health. We barely, we, we do a good job taking care of the body. Yeah. We barely touch on the mind. God forbid we talk about emotional health, you know, the health of our environment. Last year we did during 2020 we did a series spilling the tea on environmental and social health the year before that was on emotional health the year before that was on mental health because people ask us do you have a tea for depression right and i'm like yeah teas don't work like that yeah it's not a magic a magic potion but we do have immune boosting teas uh so i, I hope that answers your question in the context yeah it does and i mean um like you said it's really important to focus on your mental your mental status because um, it took center stage with with the pandemic and everybody kind of getting locked down and having to be with themselves and with their family mental your mental state really took center stage and people didn't know how to tackle that because it hasn't really been addressed to the point where okay you're gonna have to be inside most of the day every day for a year and it kind of you know, unraveled. two weeks yeah two weeks. <laughs> it's gonna be two weeks and we'll be back at it right <laughs> Actually, that's what I thought it was going to be, but it didn't happen that way. So, um, yeah, it's funny you say that because about two and a half months ago, I wasn't feeling great. And um, so I, I started to eat right, started to eat better, and um, naturally lost the weight and, you know, started drinking tea. And, yeah, man, it, it's it's been a really, a really awesome change in the world, so health-wise. So that's great. great. So, that's great. You should do a video on that. You're like health... Journey. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are ready for that yet. You know, you're used to you seeing me eat burritos and burgers and stuff like that. But maybe we'll we'll flip the script on that. But I wanted to ask you about the menu inside. So, what kind of drinks can we expect from you? What do you got? What do you have on the menu? So our our two most common drinks is our matcha and our golden milk. Matcha is a ceremonial Japanese green tea, high in caffeine. People love it. That's hot. Or you get hot, hot or cold. cold ice, uh, water, or milk. We can mix in with other teas. Oh, I think nice. I got, uh, matcha. Uh, my um, a few of our staff they make matcha like peppermint and teas of the month. We, we blend new teas together here at the cafe. And then we have our golden milk, which is turmeric, ginger, and cinnamon. It's caffeine free. It's our most popular oh, drink. Nice. In fact, that was like our first YouTube video that went viral. Mm -hmm. And this was back when, you know, the Facebook or 
YouTube didn't know how to like switch. Oh on. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I, <laughs> I just spent all these. Hours. I shot that too. That way, a lot of videos started out like that. But yeah. And that was the first video because I guess people were looking for a way to make golden oil, and that's our most popular tea. Nice. So, so you have all the variety of different teas. So no coffee, right? We do have coffee. Oh, you do? Okay, yeah. you do have coffee. What, else, what kind of coffee is it? It's a strong, cold brew coffee. The guy uh, who brews it, I think he's out at Arosas in Torrance. So we pick up that tea from the Torrance Farmer's Market. He drops it off to us and we take it oh, here wow. to the yeah, right, warehouse. Cool. And then we distribute it between both cafes. Beautiful. That's good to know. Now, um, where did your journey start you know for your small business owner you, you got into the tea business like when did that whole thing come together for you I was 23 years old I just got out of the Navy and I need a part-time job while I was going to school and so I thought you know what I'm gonna sell drinks from around the world that's why that logo the logo with that yeah we'll drop it in here. yeah, yeah. Um, I thought I'm gonna be just a broker I'm just gonna specialize in drinks that you can't get here in the US Tea was the buying tea. It's, it's cheaper. It's just easier. It doesn't cost a lot to freight it, and we started selling that way. And then from teas to herbs to herbs to like natural medicine. So what year was that? That was 2012. Okay. Yeah, that was kind of when the economy was kind of coming out of its that 2010 slump. Yeah. You know, it's it starting to come out. So then you became uh, owner or. Just you, you started distributing, or how did it so, evolve? So, uh, again, my whole goal was to go back in the military. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I love the military. It's five years Navy, and so I asked my buddy from high school. I said, "Hey, dude, got this idea. If um, say yes, you'll be with me, and we'll be 50-50. That was my partner mm -hmm. Zeke. We have a blend named after him. Uh, we I met Zeke. He's an awesome guy. Yeah, yeah I love dude, Zeke. I love that guy. <laughs> uh, he's the one who is responsible for the Zeke's blend and a few other okay. blends. We, we worked together. I mean, we were 23 when we started. Yeah, that's a long, long trip. <laughs> how long? Well, I'm not gonna ask. How, how old are you now? I'm 30. I was 32. Wow. So that was a while. You guys have been partners for a while. Yeah. Well, we. I mean, we. About, I've been buddies for a while. We've been buddies for a while. He was the guy who. He was the groomsman at my. My wife and I got married right before my second deployment. We went to the courthouse in Norwalk. My wife brought a friend, and I bought my buddy Z. Oh wow. And so we were we were really close. I met Zeke at the uh, farmers market. Yeah. Way back. Yeah. He used to, he was selling the tea, and I bought some Zen tea stuff back then, and he was really knowledgeable. So yeah. Yeah, he was supposed to join the Navy with me, but I uh, he had some health issues, couldn't, couldn't join. So okay. when um, when you join the military, you lose track. You lose a lot of people. Yeah. Because he was one of the few I can imagine. people. I was like, dude, you're still here. So we started off the business t together, and but you know. When you're kids, you're starting off, you don't know any better. Right. And then all you know the ins and outs. And we look and we got like seven employees and these bills and it's like yeah. you know, franchise tax force mad because you didn't pay that that thing. Yeah. <laughs> so and we ended up splitting um, I think like three or four years into the company. Okay. So So fast forward, here we are now, you open your other location. Yes. And then you had eyes to open another one or it kind of just happened that way, or did you always want to expand it? No, I, I knew that I wanted to get the place on, on Greenwood. That was okay. a dream. I was praying about it, and it's like, hey, COVID shut all the businesses down. And, yeah. You know, we had enough money to, we had enough money to, to, to put it down to deposit, and then we just like bare bones. Yeah. Figuring it out. Yeah. On the fly. So, um, you did it. You're here. And uh, we know the pain and struggles of small business. It's really tough. It was a tough, tough 2020. And uh, somehow uh, we made it through here and here you are. And so how does that feel to have the community support? You got a business, people are coming in and when you see customers coming in the doors, I don't know if that ever gets old. It does it for me. The, what does it feel like to have that support, man? To have people come in and support your product? It means a lot. It does. But like, I guess it's because I'm a veteran, you know, like everyone loves you when you're, you are got the uniform on, you got the medals. Yeah. It's, it's when you come back and you're beat up, you know, I feel, I feel for, I feel good because I'm like, we survived. Yeah. I'm also thinking in business, it's like entertainment, you know, mm -hmm. you're popular one second, yeah. people forget you mm -hmm. the next. And so one of the things that I've sought to do is, you know what? 
I have this platform, I want to connect with people, I want to help people because, you know, I mean, COVID, things change like that. We know this now, yeah. And so, the business may come and go, but I, I want to make sure that the impact we have on, on people is sincere and that we, change, you know, we connect with people, we touch people's lives. I don't, I always wanted a business that the community wanted, you know, would benefit from, not yeah. just, it makes a lot of money. Right. Yeah. And that's true. Um, if you really love what you do, and it, it seems like you do, um, it's it makes working a lot easier. You, you're happy to come to work, and you kind of throw yourself into the product, and everything else kind of falls in place at that point. Do you yeah. agree with that? On the best times, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, yeah. When it, when there's a pandemic or when there's a lockdown, obviously that's going to be that's going to be really difficult. But for the most part, yeah. 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 It's, it's a normal, in a normal situation. To get back, yes, love having the community support. I love that I'm like, like hey, I'm a local guy. My wife and I, we, we graduated from Cal High. It was like East Whittier. She was Granada. I was Ocean View. She was Laurel, I think. Um, then I went to Whittier College right after, like, you know, um, after the Navy. Uh, Got some deep Whittier roots right Whittier, there, man. Yeah. yeah. This is pretty... It didn't, didn't work out. I just it just worked out that way. Yeah, you know? it just kind of happens. When you when you're a local guy, you get your home support. You just do better. Yeah, feels good. And some people uh, can't wait to get out of Whittier, but if it's in your blood, like it's in our blood, you just want to stay here and succeed and, and do it for your home team. Hey, there's home, a home crowd. There's a reason why a bunch of people hang out in Whittier and stay in Whittier right? generation yeah, after generation. Exactly, it's true. That's why. Our, <laughs> yeah. It's true. So, um, what are the business hours? What do, you, what do you got going on? Right there? now, they're 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tuesday oh. through Sunday. Monday, it's closed for like private tea tasting. Tea okay. Room, so. Oh, so you can rent the rent it out? Yes. Oh, wow, that's great. Yes. As of now, as more people come in, we'll probably extend our hours. Uh, that's what how that's how our last place was. Okay. And uh, what can we expect as far as? Uh, the, the seating inside. You got this great outdoor area here. You're gonna set it up out here, or what's gonna what's gonna be like? You know, we're figuring that out because the health department changes every other week, mm -hmm. and so we got to be fluid. As of right now, we got a couple of tables in there. We got like a stand-up bar area. Uh, hopefully, by the end of the summer, we'll be at 100% capacity to where we can now be open. Right now, it's 50%. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, when we got the lease, it was still on shutdown. It was just like we were taking our chances. And yeah, like, rolling hey. dice. Yeah. So uh, right now, are you seeing a lot more people coming in and taking the drinks to go, or are they sitting down, or is it? Majority kind of people of... take the, take the teas to go. Yeah, majority. But there are some tea connoisseurs, mm -hmm. some tea, you know, real tea people. Like they like to sit down and drink all their teas yeah. and taste the tea. So spill the tea. Spill the tea. Yeah. Hang out. Uh, there's a people. One just came from Fullerton, one from Elmani, they met here. Oh, nice, cool. They're like, you want to be here to nice. try this new tea house? We met you at the Farmer's Market. Oh, definitely. Amber. Awesome. So are you still going to do your Farmer's Market stuff all over, or are you going to focus more on that? The Farmer's so Markets is the how the company got started. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to kind of stay true to the roots. Mm -hmm. Like that's, that's still what we plan on doing um, as long as we're able to. Yeah. I, lo I like farmer's market. That's where you get the fresh produce and the food. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, definitely. So, um, there you have it, guys. Zen's Tea House. Now, you had your tea there. I'm looking at that. It's kind of warm out here. I'm thinking I'd like to have a tea, you know, to quench my thirst. So, we'll